Okay, um, this is definitely a completely different week and I am definitely not on vacation when this video comes out on YouTube, but we're going to do another hacker replay. This time only five matches because a lot of the submissions I've been getting have all been casual, like three round matches, so I'm not going to waste my time watching those because they're probably blatant cheaters. So I tried to grab a few good ranked matches. This first one I think you guys will like solely because of the name. So in this match we have... Zom Zomifen, who is accusing Boy Lover 69. If this is not a stream mode name, this is an incredibly happy coincidence with the number. Although I feel like Ubisoft probably blacklisted the number 69 from appearing in stream mode names. Moment well, for two lobbies of people just try harding. I will never understand why people complain about someone try harding in COD. Like, the people who complain, if you complain about someone tryharding, it just means that they're better than you, and you're upset that they're better than you. Because if they weren't better than you, then you would kill everyone, and then they'd accuse you of tryharding. What did I just witness? What you witness is a play that someone with a Varsity Gaming Charm would make. And you can get yours today for free by subbing to my Twitch channel with Twitch Prime, or use $5. He did have the intel from the camera, but that seemed like he got away with a lot of murder there, and also was very confident on re-peeking the glass, because he only saw the sledge, but then he sees those two here. How close was that to landing on glass, because I'm actually surprised that it didn't hit them. Oh, really close. Jeez. This is a 9 round match, by the way. No way they jump out again. No way the audio just completely dis vanished from this game. Hmm. Rip audio. Or for two multiplayer is completely worthless for content creators. You need to have your convos on the top, and the game needs to be absolute last thing of the viewer's mind. That's true. But also, it just seems like every content creator who's been playing COD multiplayer has just been like, well, this is boring, and like, so many of them have just straight up uninstalled it. That was a very different recoil pattern from the first one. The first one was just all over the place. The second one was... Very, very accurate. That's tough on the glass. That should have been a... I guess it shouldn't have been a free kill, but I feel like they should have gotten at least a few shots off. Oh, he tried to C4, but then forgot that he already used the C4. Oof. Boy Lover 69 does not get the ace. Uh, they seem very confident. They seem very good. Their team seems to suck. We could have another case of uh, just like a smurf or something. Because look, the blue team's not even destroying these cameras. They're not destroying any of them. Do they know about default cameras? I don't think they do. I'm starting to feel like this guy is just like probably a plat or diamond player. And the enemy enemy team has no idea what they're doing. That was a reaction shot. Probably heard them drop as well, because that's a very long and loud drop. Dies to the glass. This is round two, by the way, and he's already at seven kills. 
If he does another jump out because the enemy team has not destroyed a single fucking camera, I'm gonna be a little upset. Because why aren't my lobbies like this? Oh my god, he's gonna do it. Oh lord, he's doing it. Oh my god, and they fell for it again? How? Have they are just they're not destroying any default cameras. Oh my god. And they just died of that because they weren't paying attention. Or they were looking up at the hatch. We're playing versus bots, bro. I want these bots. If I if I had these lobbies against me, do you know how many videos I'd come out with every single day? Like three videos a day for the rest of my life. This will not surprise me if they don't use their drone at all on attack because the enemy team does not really seem to know what they're doing, but he's going to use it anyways. Oh wait, they got a kill. They killed someone who either tried to jump out or this vigil who is spawn peeking there. Yeah, you can see the window debris a little bit. I'm sure it'd look a lot cleaner if, uh... Oof. They weren't even aiming at the head, but the vigil kind of ran into the shot. Yeah, if match replay didn't bug out, you probably would be able to see that a bit cleaner. Did I ever check that? Oh, I didn't. I forgot to do that in the last one. Let me check here. I had two abandons in casual. Or three. Now I have four. Okay, it does work. Count as a match history. I gained MMR from that? Oh my god. How do I gain MMR from leaving? Well, now we uh now we know the the answer from last video. That's gonna keep people on the edge of their seats, but I'll completely forget to do it in the week before and then upload it in the second part. It. The ultimate way to get free MMR, abandon your matches and you get free MMR every time you abandon. Last three are all on site. I saw one guy was just crouched slow walking through site. Which again makes me feel like the skill lobby or skill level of this lobby is not great. Oh no, he's not inside. He's in barrels and he's getting kills. He's crouch walking around and getting kills. I honestly couldn't even tell if that bandit was in the site or not. I thought he was in the other room. Okay, just pointing this out. Boy Lover 69 has 10 kills. The rest of his team combined has 7. This guy is about to drop like a fucking nuke in this game. And his team is just disappointing him. Oh, that, that hurts. When you're the only one dropping kills. That gave Sledge a free kill. Oh, and then someone on the orange team left. And then Sledge would have grenaded that drone it had it not been shot. Don't tell me everyone on the orange team left the diffuser and spawn. Oh my god, they did. This person doesn't know about the, it's not a glitch, but the Dokabi tactic where you let go of the gadget button early and it puts away the thing quicker while still making the call. Which I feel like a lot of people probably don't know about. What's my rank in Valorant? Bro, I don't even play Valorant. I tried to get into it, and it the game is not for me. I 
everyone on his team is just watching him. No one's watching any of the drones. Oh, this person's doing a zombie strats. Let's go. They're peeking above. But Dokubi doesn't see it. And there's a camera up there. Somehow that was a headshot. Somehow they didn't notice the Valk camera just staring at them. Tough. They are now at 12 kills. This is the point where I'd be like, Team, please. Like, I know you're trying, but try harder. But like, guys, I have 12 kills. More kills than the rest of the team combined. Please. Please do something. At least the Rip Corey guy is trying something. Didn't you say there were no cheaters? I said I personally have not faced many cheaters. In Champ Crew, we played 63 matches before we faced our first cheater. Um, in unranked i had only faced two cheaters all season until i tweeted that i haven't faced any cheaters and then i faced like four in the span of one week so the trick is to just never mention it and you may not face actors this guy is not hacking probably not but i honestly just want to see how this match plays out he's at 12 kills and his team is not doing well, so like I, I kind of want to see how it, how it plays out. Because I, I have a sneaking suspicion that the rest of the matches are going to be like fairly obvious, so we might as well watch this one. Gold and silver is infested with them. I feel like there can't be that many cheaters in gold compared to the higher ranks. Like, there must be more in the higher ranks, but I guess like a cheaters, if they are getting banned faster, then they have to go through the whole gold ranked games all over again, which then means that there's going to be more in gold because they're just stuck there trying to rank back up. Oh, this guy's getting fucking shotgunned by the pulse below. I don't think has landed a single successful flashbang where they wanted it. Very odd shots down below. But even if uh, they were walling, they weren't even really aiming at them. I can tell how stressed this person is right now because I've been in this exact situation where it's like I'm low health. I'm, I know I'm the only one that's going to get kills. Like, guys. Like, we can do this, come on, like, let's just work together. And then you're just running around sporadically because you're like, I don't know what to do, I don't know what to... Um... What to push. And it all lines up for you. 15 kills in 6 rounds. That is an average of 2.5 kills per round. Oh my god, don't tell me he's going to get the run out again. If this guy gets another run out... He gets another one, I will shave my pubes. You heard it here first, folks. He did not get a run out. I think that was the first time that they destroyed any default cams outside. Because he only had two. I really do wish I could check uh, cameras while in uh, the match replay thing. That'd be super nice. Dude's just caring, not cheating. Oh, I 100% agree so far, but we'll watch the whole match and see. But also, I just, I really want to see how many kills he gets. I'm sure it probably said in the text file, but I never remember anything that the text file says. They're just staring at him. Like they're not even fighting. Thatcher put up a little bit of a fight. I guess he keeps killing... I'm not even... I was going to say the lower kill people, but... Not even that bad. 
I don't know how the Osa has 7 kills when she reacted the way she did to the C4 Goyo. You got pre-fired and destroyed. 17. If you combine the rest of his teammates' kills, he has 3 more kills than the rest of them combined. If you combine the top 2, they have 26 kills while the rest of their team has 5. Meaning they have like 85% of all kills on their team, or 80%? Something like 80 to 85, somewhere around there. This must be, I bet if I look up uh, this lobby after, I bet they're all gonna be like fairly low ranks, and this guy's gonna be fairly higher. Like my own grave playing Splatoon to crawl under my blank and regret everything. There is nothing worse than playing Splatoon and having some person like load into your game. Their name is like Lil Timmy uh, 415. They have parental controls on and then they just fucking destroy you because they are just some cracked ass kid who somehow knows absolutely everything there is in Splatoon. Okay, this guy spent most of the round on the drone. Do something. Get some kills. There's no way this Valkyrie stays on- There's no way! Why are you on cameras right there? You're in the open! The hatch is open! Oh my god! How? They just stayed in the open. Remember when um, Roy tweeted about his 30 kill game and was bragging about it? Oh my god, I'm like, these are the people he was playing against, 100%. They are just completely unaware. Oh, one more round. And I'm not saying it because, you know, I'm trying to trash talk. Like, I'm jealous. I want those easy lobbies. I want to play against people who are garbage at this game and get really good clips against them. Not another outside default camera. They're at 20 kills, by the way. 20. Do you think it's because of their anime waifu skin? I still think it's an anime waifu skin. Yeah, it is. There's a girl on it. I will say. They didn't destroy that default camera either. Oh my god. No way. Ow. I have to restart the round because the audio went, but like... They are... They're not destroying any default cams at all. Oh my lord. Oh, there's the, the anime girl. The worst part is that that person who didn't destroy any default cams, he has seven kills. I didn't even see how they killed this person. I like I guess I blinked and it was over. Hmm. They did get shot at. But that is very weird for them to immediately flick onto them through the wall. But we have watched nine excruciating rounds of this. I don't think that this counts as like evidence one time that they happen to line up through the wall with someone is not evidence enough they could just be insanely good at hiding this but the, again the enemy team has not destroyed any default cams 
they just keep walking in. It's it's a tough scene out here for this blue team. Mm, he dies. Oh my god. What a match. Alright, I'm gonna guess that this is not a streamer mode name. If it is, sheer happy coincidence at 69. It is not. Okay, they are... They have a 3 KD in casual. That's really high. But, what is their casual KD? Or their casual MMR? It is bronze. They've only played 6 matches and killed a shit ton of people. This match alone, you remove this match, what is their KD? It goes down to 32 and 11. Doesn't change much, it's still like almost a 3 KD. That's... That must be nice. They don't really do that well in ranked. They just destroy kids in unranked. Although, what is this? Is this ranked or unranked? Oh, that was ranked! So then, this is just like an anomaly for them. They have a 1.5 KD or 1.6 KD, which isn't that high. It's high, but it's not like insanely high. And they used to be a plat player, they're probably just shredding kids in gold. Okay. Okay, in this match we have CC3636 Delej, who is accusing Ash and Foxy. They are not in this match. Wait, no, that's the other one. That's the next match. Never mind, we're good. New Kids Raver. It's this guy. Ash and Foxy's in the next match. You can tell he just pulled up the cheap box, ticked a few things off. Yeah, he's cheating. He got them hip fire hacks because he just hit Grim. What does this go to? Oh, just round five. I say there's no way if someone's cheating this much that it would go that far. Well, I guess if they're doing that. Okay. New kids were able to just stop messing around after that first round. Let's see, do they run in and just melee the Clash of Shield back as much as they can? Because if so... Not really surprising. Or do they just AFK? Oh, just kidding. Damn. This is speed hacks as well, right? They're moving faster than usual. I'm gonna assume that barricade's not actually there, because the Yana also went through it. Okay. Cheater, obviously. Uh, they are not banned, and they only have a 2kd? Bro, cheat better. Why have they played so much casual, but they haven't played like any ranked? They've only won 60%? Oh, they actually only just got to able, able to be playing ranked before. They, I guess they were playing unranked or casual. Damn. Well, that's a cheater. <laughs> Next match. First match was going to be like 25 minutes, and I bet the rest of the matches are going to be like 2 minutes each. Okay, Atomic World accusing Ash and Foxy. This person I accidentally said was in the last match. They weren't. They went Ash. They could be sticking with the name, or they could be cheating too. They keep swapping to their gadget. And swapping back. They don't know how to do the door thing. They actually did get the right amount of hits, but they just didn't push through. We got the seduction music going. Okay, there he finally saw them. They're cheating. So, you can tell... 
You can tell that they're trying to make it hidden by being like, let me look on my drone, and then they drone out here. But they don't actually see the oryx at any point. Maybe you could argue they see their toe there, sure, whatever. But surprisingly, when you hop back on the drone and just look at someone's right kneecap, it's not going to let you auto-aim at their head. And then they intentionally move their aim off of the head so that it doesn't immediately kill them. This is interesting if uh, they do it throughout the entire match because then that just means that they are intentionally trying to make it as subtle as possible or their idea of subtle as possible so that they don't... Uh, immediately get banned. I am like 99% sure they're cheating just because of that wall lineup. Like, it was so obvious. We'll see if they do it again. The rounds are over so quick, too. They're over in like one minute. This time they actually droned and checked instead of just pretending to drone. Okay. <laughs> oh my god. They just tracked the alibi through the wall. It was crazy how they managed to just walk through sight because they know exactly where everyone is. Please tell me that they somehow lose. No, they don't. I'm guessing what they're trying to do is make it where at least the kill cam doesn't look crazy suspicious. But the average Joe playing who is used to dealing with cheaters is probably going to look at something like that and just be like, there's no way that they are just, you know, tr like hitting us all, all the time. Four bandits on one wall. Just staring at them. I don't really get to see how they killed them here. This, they don't even have a stern mode name, so I'm curious what their uh, stats are going to be like. They didn't even see them the first time, but they did the intentional... Oh my god. <laughs> when you forget that you're cheating for a second, look. He gets shot. And then just completely throws their training out the window. <laughs> uh, this is someone who has been practicing trying to hide their cheats. Because that was... That was just like instinctual and then they had to fight their instinct and they've been doing a pretty good job of concealing their like i guess cheating methods because this isn't a crazy kd jump and this isn't a crazy win loss but they are very obviously cheating but they're doing a really good job of hiding it because the average person playing if you look at your kill cam you're probably gonna be like oh like random spray or oh they drone me or oh whatever 
but honestly if it wasn't for that first kill onto oryx where they like perfectly lined up the head and then moved it over it would have been a little bit harder to determine but yes obviously a cheater okay we have um emmy emmy cholo 22 who is accusing i'll drop shot you or i'm a drop shot you their teammate Okay, Amaru just jumped in. She just full sensed the main sight window. Completely balls to the walls. They tried to C4 and then they realized they have a bulletproof camera. We'll need a little bit more evidence because right there they were like just looking at the Amaru, but the Amaru just jumped in and then they were probably like behind the bomb, behind the bomb. Great bulletproof. Good shot from their teammate, or from them, onto their teammate. Okay, they're holding the ops away that they are. Okay. They weren't obvious at least. They were just tracking. How much editing is the average hacker video compared to my other content? It honestly takes longer to edit than average content because editing my own hacker replays like puts me to sleep, man. I kid you not. There is no better remedy for a like sleepless night than trying to edit my hacker replay. And it's not necessarily because it's boring, although I would argue that myself, yes, it is probably boring even though people enjoy it. Um, but it's just like watching the same matches that I already analyzed and then trying to like edit it all and make sure that everything is good in it, it's just, oh my god. Yeah, they're cheating. <laughs> I just love decks, bro. Let's see. I'm a drop shot you. Might be an L instead of an I. They're in bronze? How? How? They have a 1.16 KD. They have to be cheating. I just watched them trace someone through a wall. Like they perfectly tracked their head. It wasn't even just like a, oh, like looking around. Like they perfectly tracked the Osa. think they're cheating but like if you're cheating you can't possibly be in bronze oh my god maybe they can we're going to the last round because uh they only have seven kills imagine they just fucking start spin botting here in the final round to guarantee them the win I'll give the submitter credit for one thing. This is very, I guess, like intuitive of them to submit this. Because personally, if this person's on my team and he's seven and five after nine rounds or after eight rounds, I'm not going to be thinking he's cheating. So I'm very curious how they determined he was cheating. Destroy the claymore.
What was the point of that? What? Why did they put down four and then two? I, I'm so confused. Okay, that mirror is definitely still there and it just shows up as not there in the replay. I know it's bronze, but how? Why is Bandit looking at main stairs? Oh my god. This is gonna be like the first time that I have accused someone who is a bronze player with barely a positive KD of cheating, I don't think there's any way they aren't. Like, they just straight up track them. Movement for movement. So like right here, they hide behind. Like that has to be tracking, right? I'm not crazy. Or am I reading too much into this? No, they're literally tracking them through it. I just love decks, bro. That has to be cheating. Let me see if they submitted any like exact moments they want me to look at. Because I skipped through a lot of it. Oh, I actually got something wrong. It's Pistols who's accusing, and they're also accusing Emmy Cholo. I thought they were only accusing I'm a drop shot you. I, uh, normally they have like, they say, my name is blank and I'm accusing blank. This person put like accusing blank and blank and then at the bottom said I am pistols. The person submitting this is actually pistols and uh Yeah. That's tough. Although I swear I never heard this person activate their gadget. I swear I was hearing this person activate their gadget. I see. Hmm. Weren't they Yana in one round and I was hearing the Yana clone? Which normally you only hear when it's the person who submitted it and they go yawn, I think. Uh, I cannot be bothered to try to find out if it's actually them or not. I assume they wouldn't accuse themselves. I was mainly looking at this guy. I feel like that has to be it. It was tracking. That is the lowest ranked player I've ever accused. Moving on. In this match we have the Wind Plays who is accusing Season Shik. Rank console is probably like 90% of the Zim at this point. That is, un or not unfortunately, this is, that is fortunately very far from the truth. People, I don't know, I, I feel like people obviously use their own experiences to shape what they believe the world's like, but people go crazy when it's about Zim. Like, Zim is a problem, I'm not going to deny it's not. But it's very likely, if you were to go through all console rank players, that probably like less than 10% of them actually use Zim. It's just that when you're in the higher ranks, you're going to face a lot more of them. So it's going to feel like there's a ton. But you got to remember how many people play ranked and probably never see anything above, like, bronze, too. Or bronze. Like, it is not 90% of all console owners. You know how many console people there are? They're just, like, you know moms, dads who get off work and just play like an hour or two of console a day and that's like their downtime. These people aren't uh, buying Zim. Got two kills, didn't really seem that suspicious. Yeah, people I feel like blow it to crazy numbers. It is a problem, but it's not 90% of the entire console player base. And Zim is what they call the uh, adapters for console that basically you plug in a mouse and keyboard and it converts your con like your movements into controller movements. So you can use a mouse and keyboard on console. 
And there's also a very funny clip that was circulating on TikTok where someone, a kid, was playing T-Hunt on console with Zim and he was just like breathing so loudly. He was like, <laughs> as he's like swiping around killing bots in T-Hunt. It's like, bro, this man needs to see like a respirologist. He's dying just playing with a mouse and keyboard. It did happen to line up with the Nomad, but I don't think that was intentional. Okay, they keep shooting through the wall, but they're not hitting directly where the person is, or like lining them up perfectly. They're hitting to the side a bit. Which makes me feel like it could be coincidental, but that is very odd that it's happened twice. It also, it did look like the person across the map did shoot through the wall, so maybe they were just shooting back through the holes that were shot. That's probably something closer to 30%? No. Again. There is such a enormous portion of every community, of every game, that is just so casual. It, and it bothers me every time because people are like, hackers are like an issue for like 90% of all games. Like, no, they're not. They are not that huge of an issue that every single person's seen them all the time. It's just not true. And people always forget how much of a casual player base there is. There is probably the majority of the community that has probably never once looked up any Siege YouTube video, any Siege stream or TikTok or anything. Why did it kick off the view. They probably couldn't name you a single Siege content creator. That's how casual the community is in a lot of these games. The guy did walk around kind of like preemptively aiming at people, but I don't think that was too suspicious. Hopefully I'm not just getting distracted by arguing with chat that I'm missing something. It doesn't seem like anything bad so far. What is this dude shooting at? No, he's been shooting at random shit all the time, so... RMA just wants to imagine that he's probably not... ...a cheater, but... ...could just be spraying all the time to make it look like... ...they're not doing that much. I don't know. And then 30% when it was big, like I said, it's probably... ...or definitely going down with the player base. Uh, they're guaranteed was never at 30%. Because that would mean, um, like just as an example, when Siege was at its peak on PC, like 150,000 active players on any given day, which probably means like millions of players per month. Um, on console, this is probably around the same numbers. There is no way that, like, let's say there's 10 million players in a month, that 3 million of them bought an Xbox or PlayStation, like, mouse and keyboard to control or adapter. If so, these companies would be, like, just raking in, like, millions and millions of dollars of profit. Not saying that they're not, they are making money, but there's absolutely no way there was millions of active Zim users in a month. I still haven't really seen anything from this guy that would make me too suspicious. Did kind of look like he was looking through the wall there. Then looks up at the Blackbeard who happens to be looking through the hole he can kind of see. I'm getting a little suspicious of the fact that this guy always seems to be moving and getting ready for the next person. That was more of a reaction. He was aimed at the left of the door and the person peeked right and then he flicked over. Whether that'd be intentional or not, I don't know. And then they die in plain view of the Blackbeard. Uh, hmm. oh. Xbox probably 40% again. No, you guys are just taking random numbers and believing them to be true. There is absolutely 0% chance that 40% of Xbox had an adapter or Cronus or whatever of some kind. Again, there is such a huge, massive 
audience that is just so casual they will never they don't even know what um, like zim or chronos or any of that stuff is these people are not buying it and they make up the majority of the community oh i did not mean to rewind there Okay, he's pre-firing spots that people aren't at, which are common angles to hold. Which makes me feel like he's a bit more knowledgeable of the game, because he's actively trying to prevent, or like, kill people as he swings them, instead of reacting to them. Need to stop talking about Zim and Kronos and just focus on the game to see if they're actually cheating or not. Because I feel like, although it's been three rounds, I feel like I've barely noticed anything. If he had been holding this angle like he was before, he would have killed that person. Okay. Something to note there is that the second, like the millisecond the rook left that angle, Sledge looked away. If we notice that happening multiple times, then we can probably assume walls, because what are the odds that two people that have absolutely no connection with one another are just happening to move at the exact same time multiple times, right? Okay. This guy suddenly started pre-firing where they are. Before it was pre firing a lot, but it was always where people weren't. Don't know what that was, but. It almost looks like he aims too low, and then as soon as they're about to be visible, aims up right there, gets the kill, and then looks away. It's trying to get suspicious. This guy just got thunderbirded, but instead of using that to stand back up, they withstood. Alpha move. Uh, Season Chick is now at 10 kills, and I feel like just happens to know where everyone is. So, might be a bit more suspicious. Oh my god, why is sound so buggy recently in match replay? Like, if I skip forward at all, this is basically a guarantee that sound bugs out. So, one thing to know that's different than the previous round is, when the sledge pushed this window, he pre-fired three spots. He pre-fired there, and then there, and then there. Never once did he pre-fire over here, but now he's pre-firing on the right side where the bandit was. Now that bandit's there. Rooney's below, probably holding an angle up to the window. Did he just shoot at the rook through the wall there, or try to shoot at the rook through the wall? Mmm. Mmm. You could try to make the argument that he tried to shoot the wooden wall and just shot a little bit too early, but that seemed way too coincidental to be true. He does keep droning as well, but he always sends his drones directly to them. I don't think once has this person droned, other than like right here. They did that one round before, like they check the stairs and then just swing in. Hmm. I'm gonna look up their stats. Starting to get more suspicious. They only have a 1.3 KD. 
which is about similar to what their normal KD has been in their plat three. I just love Dex. And they have played for, let me just go look at the overview. They have been playing since Chimera, slowly improving over time. Maybe not suspicious. I would say I'd be more suspicious of them shooting at the rook through the wall there, or trying to shoot through at the rook through the wall there on round five than any of the first two rounds. They are also plat. I can look up the rest of the lobby. This match is from a week ago, so it is possible that this could be a low rank lobby, and he's just shitting on all these low rank kids. Especially if he was doing his placements or something. Did I thank the cure for the sub? Thank you. Almost get shot through the floor there. Ooh. You just got shot at through the wall and then random sprays back. They lose this round because it goes to overtime. Watch, imagine in like rounds 7 and 8 they just fucking send it. They just fly across the map, kill everyone. That would be something. Oh, thank you for the 10 anonymous gifted subs. Hold on. They just got shot at by the person on the stairs and just didn't react at all. Why? What? Did the Nomad kill them? I, I think they did. Bro. But the strip just got shot and just ignored it. Okay. I said they gifted, by the way. I don't believe it, Nort. Love You're not a generous person. Maybe you are. You have a reason to hold this and expect them to come from there for so long. And just like looking around. Oh, he does see them go up there. Okay, that's fair. Okay. They still lose, though. Does he not know that the person is at the bottom of the stairs? Or below the stairs here? I just love Dex, bro. He doesn't, because he is about to get shot in the back. Never mind. They ignore him. Now shot in the back, but he does look back over Dex, to them. Bro. But why does he look back? Does his teammates see something on drones? Because they have a drone there. Yes, probably. Dex, okay. Bro. It was all me. No, it was me. No, me. Everyone out here taking credit. I was gonna go back and check because it looked like they lined them up through the wall there, but like nothing came of it, so I'm sure it was just accidental as they managed to break in with no one here. This is the last match, it is. Reaction. Almost did not get the kill there. They're at 15 now. This guy's on a heater. I wonder if he's going to get 22 kills, just like the other person that got 22 kills. <laughs> Pushing the Osa. Baits the Osa. About to get an ace? Season Schick is just built different. 
They are at four kills this round. Nope, they don't get the ace. Okay, they win on this next round. I don't think they're cheating. Like, there was, you know, the one suspicious moment. They did have some weird situations, but, like, the person has an overall one point. I think, what was it, 2 3, 2 5, or 3 KD? I don't know, something like that. I don't think they're doing anything bad. Like, accidents happen, coincidences occur. They haven't... The only thing I'd say they've done is just, like... They always seem to be in the right place, but it also seems like the enemy teams just kind of walk into them, so... I don't know. Like, in that last round... What was it? Two people pus pushed the Osa. No, three. Because the Mute ran in and died after someone else ran in and died, and then the Capcan ran in and died. It's like... Three people pushing one person who just keeps getting baited, like... Doesn't feel like a cheater. I think you destroyed that because they got Doka B cams. Cheating her synthesis just adds. Well, this person is platinum, and this is a ranked game, so we'll look up at the end what rank everyone is. But if they went through their placements late or whatever, then it would make sense. But if this is Platinum Lobby, then it seems really weird that they're popping off so much. But it does happen. But the enemy team does not feel like they're playing like Platinum players. And then they're pinging the diffuser. I could hit plant, anyone can. That's true. You are pretty garbage. What a slow reaction. That's like me level reaction. Old man varsity. Shoots the dead body. Ignores the door that the person's now pushing through. Completely ignores it and hopes that someone's going to finally push this while Bandit covers the door. Okay, and they clutch up. Season drops 19 kills. Only died three times, and I assume the three times they died was when they lost. Um, okay, let's see what rank everyone is. The win plays. I was, did they already change their name? Okay, this guy's plot two with a negative KD. Gold one with a slightly positive KD. Plot three with a slightly positive KD. Plot three with a solid 1.0 KD. I honestly just think the lobby was kind of trash. Everyone was plot, it wasn't like a super low lobby. I think they just popped off. I think they're fine. Can't wait for this to be like released in two weeks from now. And then people are going to go through and be like, yeah, every single one of these people got banned for cheating. Like, you said none of them were cheating other than, uh, I think it was Ash and Foxy, and I'll drop shot you. But like, yeah, they were all cheating. How did you not know? I'm garbage. But I don't think that person was cheating. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to leave it at that. That's going to be it for Hacker Replay. I... We'll continue to do this when I get back. I just need to do two in one session so I can have them ready for while I'm on vacation. Tomorrow should be last stream before I go on vacation. And then uh, when I get back, we'll see if I'll change anything. Guess Your Rank might come back. We'll see. Might save that for the new season, though. Last Guess Your Rank did pretty terrible, so we'll see. But that is it for Hacker Replay.